Hi, my name is Karen Orlando. I am a student of the Renewable Natural Resources Career Program at Spoch in Riobamba. I'm going to answer some questions as my partial exam. Which of the renewable natural resources can help the economic development of the country? In what way? In the case of Ecuador, a large part of its economy is based on the soil resource by exportation. Ecuador is the world's leading producer of bananas, the largest producer of roses, and also is well known as its production of one of the best fine aroma cocoa. Another important natural resource of Ecuador is its biodiversity of plants and animals. Uh, despite of being a small country, its diversity is enormous. In Ecuador, we can find like, like 16,000 species of plants and animals, with a high rate of endemism. So, biodiversity is also a good resource to be exploited, of course, in a sustainable way, for example, creating knowledge centers, generating job opportunities, or promoting the nature tourism. Which of the renewable natural resources be a means of development in your hometown? In what way? I live in Hipijapa, a small town in Manabí. In the past, it was called La Sultana del Café for its important coffee production. But because of the poor use of the land, the production fell. It will be, to, it will be good to reuse the soil by teaching farmers about proper soil management and more about organic farming. Um, we are also enclosed by the sea with the Puerto Cayo Beach and several waterfalls as Marilán, where projects could be promoted to use the energy of the water to generate electricity. What specialty of your natural resources career would you like to pursue and explain how it can be effective applied in Ecuador? Catch more my attention to carry out a specialization. I feel that it's necessary to put aside fossil fuels to adopt uh, more clean energies and stop the consequences of the climate change. In Ecuador, 43% of its electricity generation is renewable by hydroelectric plants. However, they are responsible for the damage of rivers and their biodiversity. Nowadays in Ecuador, um, has great energy potential in wind and also solar energy, which are increasing in the country every day by some companies. Another energy that should be promoted is bioenergy, because in Ecuador there are many factories that process raw material like sugar cane, coffee and banana. Uh, their waste can be used to create biofossils and then sell in, in the same country.